All right, let's go. Late day today. Get up, get up. Find the moon. Find something that's not going to move. A wall or something. Hip swings, front and back, left and right. <clears throat> Really simple stuff. At the same time, don't overextend that hip. Just loosen up. Do 20 each leg, front and back. Hey, Anthony, for some reason I couldn't sign in, so I'll sign in later just so, so you know I was here. I got it. No sweat. I will take Thank care you. of it. Thank you. Sure. All right, once you, get side, once you get front and back, you're going left and left and right. Across your body and up and out. I don't care how far your leg goes. Most importantly is keep the hip square so that the leg that's planted on the ground, try to keep that naturally straight. Don't force it one way or the other. Just stand there and just try not to let that hip rotate too much. <clears throat> Same thing, 20 here. Good morning, Natalie. I think you just got here for some reason. It just popped up on my screen. I don't know why. Right, guys, once you get 20 each side, we're going to start our, I'm right back here, just two seconds. <clears throat> we're going to start with dead bugs. All right, I'm sorry. All right, you're, we are doing legs today. We're doing some front squats with some jumps. So we want to make sure our core and our hips are fired up. Dead bug, first one. I'm going to suggest if you have a kettlebell, use it. One side is a lighter kettlebell. Lower back flat, we're doing opposite, right? So if this is stationary, then the opposite is stationary here, and I'm moving this way. Forcing that lower back to stay flat on the floor. Pull that knee in, you're getting your knees back fired up as well as your core. Next one, lift up with a pike. I put pike in quotes if you can, if you're feeling froggy, if you're able to. But knee tuck, okay, you want to still make sure that lower back is flat. Feet six inches off the floor, bringing your knees to your chest. That's a knee tuck. Now from there, if you're feeling it and you want to advance, you're shooting those hips straight up to the ceiling, trying to keep your lower back or your upper back pressed into the floor, using your upper body to shoot those hips up. Okay? Reps are 10, uh, 20 dead bugs. 
Unilateral, 10 each. Obviously, if you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell on one side. Knee tucks, 15. Front squats, sorry, front squats for the last one. I didn't get to that. Your, war your warm up, primer exercise. It's going to be a front squat. So if you have a kettlebell that's heavier, you could use that. Again, it's power week. So think about heavier weights, less reps, faster reps. So if you're doing a kettlebell, it's still front squat. Here, core is nice and tight, shoulders are back. Five reps. Feel every second of that rep. Now, if you don't have a heavy kettlebell, all your holding weight in the front part of your body, I'm cool. Dumbbells are okay, same thing. Five reps with the front squat, okay? So 20 dead bugs, 15 knee tucks with the pipe, five front squats, three rounds. Got it? Is the dead bugs? Where are we holding the weight again for dead bugs? So the idea is to work anti-rotational. So one side, one side free, one side stationary. That weight is directly above your shoulder for the best support when you're here, extending the opposite. Oh, like we did last week. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Anthony, is it 10 each? 10 each, yes, sir. Try it again. Go for it. Good. Keep your left knee there. Extend your right leg. There you go. Yep. Keep your lower body, your, your head back. Just do your arms. Take that leg all the way out if you can, if you have room. There you go. Good. When you're doing your pikes, try to hold it up there. Suspend your hips off the ground and slowly come down.
Felicia, bring your knees to your chest first and then shoot your hips up. There you go. And then shoot them back out. Good. Mike, Mike, if you can punch that arm up, really, really straighten that right arm. There you go. Keep the kettlebell on the outside for safety of that shoulder. Looking good, guys. Take your time with those dead bugs. Smash your lower back into the ground. Straight up. You going straight up, Nat? I can't tell. Looks like you're going behind you a little bit. Try to go straight up with those. Yeah. Towards the ceiling. Yeah, you can lift your lower back off the ground and punch up. Yes, and then slowly come down with it. Awesome. Good, big exhale on the way up. <sighs> nice, good job Katie. <clears throat> Suzanne, how's your back? Yeah, okay.
All right, guys. You know, all week long we've been doing one one tempo exercise and then one exploding exercise testing speed, strength, um, and speed endurance or, or strength endurance. Excuse me. So squats are on tap today. Either you have your kettlebell holding it as a goblet, elbows tucked, core is nice and tight, and we're going down six, five, four, three, two, one, one minute. Right back down, six, five, four. Notice when I'm in the bottom here, I'm looking to explode up quickly. And when, when those three reps come into play, I don't want you to snap your knees. You can, we have plenty of time. You can stop and control and then go down. I don't want you to go down fast. I want you to go up fast. So control on the way down. As far as your fast reps go. Does that make sense? I just don't want you snap, snap, snapping your knees and you know deep, being too aggressive that we're uh, risking injury. That's for your first one. Your next one's going to be spicy. We're doing a hold. Lunge squat position, 15 seconds. Side view is here. You're finding that not completely low end range, but right in the middle of it, okay? Holding your position. Back leg is whatever, doing whatever. As long as it's straight, I'm cool. This leg's doing the work. You're here, ready to go, ready to go. As if you're doing a sprint off the line, right? 10 seconds is up. Switch. Woo. Holding this now for 10 seconds. 10 seconds is up. Big push right back in position. So you're working on accelerating and controlling that as well. All part of this week. So we're doing three each side. That'll be one set. We'll see if we can get to five. If not, three or four, depending on how you guys are feeling. I'm cool with it. It is a lot of work and your legs are going to be taxed. Does that make sense? You guys are good. So if you don't have a goblet heavy enough, you want to use the two dumbbells, either way works, they're fine. Can you do the second one again? Sure. Thank you. Lunge position, split squat, midway, okay? Three, two, one. So you're looking to go up, scissor, scissor your legs, and you can break back down. Kind of like you did the plate, you know, saying control on the way down. No different. So you you know, gravity, before gravity takes over, you'll want you to get control and decelerate into that squat position or lunge. Does it make sense? Good to go. Anthony, Anthony if yep. you're using dumbbells for the first one, how would you hold the dumbbells? Right here. So a comfortable position in that front rack position. So if you were doing, if you were using a barbell, you would have it here, dumbbells here. It's still, the weight is still in the front part of your body. So you're going to be using more quads in theory. So, and also more core. So that's why we hold it in front. Make sense? Patricia? Yes, sir. All right, cool. Let me get the timer rocking. Anthony, I'm sorry, how do you hold the kettlebell? Where'd you go? Did you, did you take a little nap? Something like that. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, right Just like thank you did you. for your cool? cool? Very cool, thank you. Yeah, and I'm only joking with you. I hope you're not, you guys aren't sensitive. Right now, anyway, I don't think, I hope not. All right, in 10 seconds, we're going to work. I will keep you accountable with your seconds. Here we go. At the top, here we go. Abs are nice and tight. Bend your knees, start going down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Three powerful controlled reps. Good, back at the top, hold, brace your abs. Start bending down, six, five, 
four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, good. Back at the top, hold, brace your abs, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then back up, three, two, and one. Good stuff, all right, that was one half of a set. Shake those legs up a little bit. We're gonna go back to work in 10 seconds. Start with your non-dominant side. Here we go, three, two, one, get there. Split squat, lunge, holding, feeling the floor below you, pressing your foot into the floor. Chest is upright, breathing through it. And we're launching in three, two, one, switch, big push. Nice, get there, hold, nice, breathing through it. Five, four, three, two, one, big push. Good, get there, hold, 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 hold. Yeah, this one's gonna be spicy, I feel it. You guys are muted, but I can hear you through the speaker. Oh, breathe through it. Think about pressing the floor away. Three, two, one, big push. Good, get there, hold. Chest is up. Good. Three, two, one, big push, switch. Good stuff, last one, nice. You know what's cool is the more tired you guys get, the more instable your body gets, which makes you stronger because you have to build stability. Anyway, um, five, four, three, two, one, big push. And last rep coming up here, squat position, no hands, let that, if you have to stand up, cool, but try to push yourself a little bit. Let that front leg burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Big push. Scissor. There you go. Perfect. Woo! So again, the exercises we show you are also like something to goal yourself to do, right? There's many different stages to get there, right? So if, if today, after that second rep, you really can't get enough power to get off the ground, that's totally fine, but you should maybe still consider trying to stand up quickly, right? So back to that lunge position. Whatever it is that you're doing today, find your level right if you're still jumping after th two or three reps awesome it's not what you should be doing it's where you're at today that helps you with your program design not get caught up with it my little ramble all right we ready for round two get that kettlebell ready get your mind right i'm going to be precise with my counting here we go five four three Two, up at the top, brace your abs, here we go. Start going down, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Three, two, fast reps. Good, at the top, hold, bend your knees, brace your four, here we go, start going down, six, five, four, three, two, one, big push, one, two, three, Good, back at the top, bend your knees, start going down, core nice and tight, six, five, four, three, two, one, big push, one, two, three, perfect, good stuff. Kettlebells down, just body weight now. In 10 seconds. Here we 
we go. Get into that position. First leg. Three, two, one. We're holding. Bend your knee. Bring your chest rib cage over that front leg so you have that power center of gravity. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Big push. Nice. Hold it. Sprinter, ready to launch. Hold. Bend your knees a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Drive to the center of your foot in three, two, one. Big push. Nice. Here we go. Hold. Nice. Balance. Love it. That's part of the work. Control. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Big push. Nice. Hold. Good stuff. Get that leg ready. Primed up. Bend your knee a little bit. Good stuff. Find a position that you'll be most powerful in, that you feel it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Big push. We got one each, right? Left. Here we go. Bend your knee. Get ready. Sprinter. Ready to launch. Breathe. Ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Big push. Nice. Get there. Nice and controlled, guys. Good job. Balance, stabilizing. Love it. Here we go, we got one more rep, and this will complete round two. Five, four, three, two, one, big push. Nice work, rest, recover. Yeah, buddy. You guys okay? Hating it? Loving it? Okay, good. Love, hate? Cool part is you get plenty of rest to recover. Give you guys another thirty seconds. <clears throat> All right, let's get those weights ready to go. Ten seconds. Here we go, back at the top five, four, three, two, one. We should be at the top, ready to go. Bracing your abs, core is nice and tight. Here we go, bend your knees, hips back, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big push, one, two, three. Nice work. Back at the top, bend your knees, core is tight. Here we go, six, five, four, three, Two abs tight. One go. One, two, three. Nice and controlled. I love it. At the top, here we go. Bend your knees. Hips back. Six, five. Core tight. Four, three, two, one. Big push. Two, three. Nice. Nice work. Shake up the legs, get your mind right. We're going back to work in five. Here we go, three, two, one. Here we go, lunge position. Bend that knee, sprinter, ready to go, ready to launch. Don't forget about your upper body. You can use this for momentum too, right? Generate that torque in your body. 
Abs nice and tight. Here we go. Holding. Front leg is working in three, two, one. Jump. Big push. Yes. Speed. I love it. Power. Hold it. Woo. I get tired just talking you guys through this. Here we go. Brace those abs. Bend that front knee. Ready to lift off. Three, two, one. Big jump. Boom. Nice power. Good. Good control, too. Holding it. Ready to rock. Front leg is moving. In. Three, two, one. Big push. Good stuff. Hold it. Working on that balance. Also working on controlling your heart rate a little bit. Breathing through it. That alone is strength in itself. Here we go. Five. Four, three, two, one, go. Big jump. Nice work. Get there. I love it. One more each side. Ready to rock. Think about opposite. If my, think about the dead bug. If my left leg is in front, my right arm is in front. Ready to launch in five, four, three, two, one. Big push. Scissor, switch, get there, hold, brace your abs. Good. Chest up. Good stuff. Bend that knee a little bit. Build more pressure. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Big push. Nice. That was three or two? Three. Thought so. Thank you. You guys good for four? Want to go for another one? I knew you'd say yes. Yeah. All right, guys, what do you say? Another 30 seconds, we go back to work for round four. All right, in five seconds, we are ready to go. Here we go. Let's get that weight ready. And we're starting, bend your knees. Here we go, hips back, core's nice and tight. Start going down, six, feel the ground below you. Five, four, three, two, one. Push the floor away, three, two, one. Good stuff, nice work. Bend your knees, hips back, here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go, one, two, three. Nice work. At the top, bend your knees, hips back. Start going down slowly. Feel your quads, feel your core. Go. Four, three, two, one. Big push. Two, three. Nice work. Good stuff. <clears throat> All right, shake them legs up. Let's get ready to work in five, four, three, two, one. Go for it. Now think about a sprinter while you're in here. Just think. If you were a sprinter about to sprint, would you be in the position you're in right now? I don't know. I'm not even looking at you. I want you to be the judge of that. I know I'm going to want to be here a little bit lower, and I want this leg to be primed up, ready to explode. Right? Hold it. Three. Get there. Three, two, one, go. Big jump. Yes. 
Love it. Get there. Stabilize. Chest is upright. Well, not upright. Well, your torso is up, but you're still in that hinge position, right? Think about a deadlift. Here, ready to rock. Holding, bracing, putting that pressure on your front leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Big jump. Nice work. Starting strength. You guys are killing it. Bracing, here we go. Ready to rock. Feeling no pain. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Nice work. Bracing. You guys are getting better at stopping too. I love that. Hold it. Getting stronger. Right in front of my eyes. Like, what was that movie with? Uh, I don't know. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. One more each side. Bracing. Front leg is primed up. Now you're really building strength because you're trying to be strong and fast, but you're tired. Three. Two, one, go. Nice, get there, last one. Hold it, here we go, bracing. Ready for lift off. Breathing heavy, but deep. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Boom, nice work. Rest recover. What was that movie? Trivia, that should be on our Jeopardy tomorrow. Oh, the Truman Show, got it. <clears throat> Just talking to myself, no different than if you guys were here or you weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Looney Tunes. We got one more round, you guys down with that? Thumbs up, thumbs up, all right, cool, good. Plenty of recovery time. Keep it over 45. I know your heart rate's coming down. It's probably already down. You guys are already ready for your trade. <clears throat> Even the newbies. All right. Give me another 17 seconds. <clears throat> Last round, fifth and final round. And I'll do a lot less talking. That's something to look forward to. Here we go. Get ready. At the top, hold, brace your abs. Core is nice and tight. Bend your knees, hips back, start going down. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Good. At the top, bend your knees, hips back. Six, five, Four, three, two, one, big push. Go, full reps. Go, go. Raise your abs, bend your knees, hips back. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Push the floor away. One, two, three. Good stuff. All right, those are done. Dumbbells are done. Kettlebells, you're gonna need them, but put them to the side. Shake off those legs a little bit. Not really, shake up the blood maybe. Here we go, we're going back to work in 10. Last set, best set. Three, two, one, get there. Non-dominant side first, ready to work. Holding, lunging. Breathing, getting ready to go in three, two, one, big jump. Whoo, and recover, good job. Holding it, bending that knee, getting ready to go. Five, four, three, two, one, go, boom. Nice, get there, balance, stability, coordination, breathing, controlling. We're counting, bending that knee. Five, four, 
three, two, go. Nice, holding it, bracing it, last one, almost done. Yeah, buddy, breathing, controlling your breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yeah, buddy, you guys are quick. Good stuff, balancing too, breathing through it, preparing. One more, here we go. What happened there? Two people aren't doing it. What happened? Two people aren't doing it. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go for it. Boom, that was it. That was your last breath, right? Yeah, no? One more. Pam says, Coach Pam says one more. Get down to the ground. Here we go. Let's go. Sorry. I, I trust Pam over me with counting. Here we go. Get there. Position right. Let's go. Hold it tight. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good. Now we're done. Thank you, Pam. You're welcome. We don't want to be uneven. Oh, I know. And that's the worst. That's the last of my mind right now. We definitely can't be uneven. So I appreciate that. Guys, rest, recover. We got three more exercises. Some sprint, some sprint workout. Workouts and you're done. Mini workouts. I'm check here. Perfect. Good stuff. Good timing with that. All right, your three today are kettlebell swings. Okay, so front squats, like I said earlier, using a little bit more quad and your lunges. A little bit more quad dominant for your split jump. Kettlebell swing, all hamstring and glutes. So it's going to tie up your leg nicely. And just power weight. So kettlebell swing should be as powerful as possible, as fast as possible. But the same thing like you did here when you had to control it, it's no different. You're swinging those hips but you're trying to control the, the bracing of that kettlebell so it doesn't go flying, right? Same thing when you have to stabilize here. So it's easy, it's only five, four, three, two, one. So those five reps, four reps, make them powerful, make them quick and quality. And don't be afraid to exaggerate, bracing down here. Next up, plank, shoulder, knee tap. Probably it's an easy breezy one for you guys today, but Take your time, try not to move your hips out of alignment, like by rotating too much. <clears throat> Five each side, four each side, blah, 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 blah. Last up, Russian twist. Now, right before this quarantine thing, I was on a mission <clears throat> to see you guys do perfect Russian twist. And we were there, we were there, we were so close. <clears throat> Russian twist is here, right? It's all you have to move. Your hips shouldn't move. In fact, it can even be heels should be on the ground. Your chest is upright. Your shoulders are going 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock. 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock. What makes it difficult is the, the level you go down here, right? <clears throat> so now, I don't want you rotating your shoulders so much, but it's only five reps. So if you want to grab a weight, you can still maintain a good strong posture with those shoulders and you can still do 11 and two and make it difficult without having to swing and torque, uh, twist your, your spine up like a pretzel. <clears throat> Make sense? So give me some quality reps basically. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Let your heart rate come down fully. There's plenty of time. We're doing 15 minutes of this. So if you feel recovered enough, go back into your next round. And I've been, I've been suggesting that you guys work back up. So five, four, three, two, one, rest, recover. One, two, three, four, five. Go back up that way. And Just to change. Rough. What's up? Sorry, bud. It, Russian swings to start before the plank, shoulder, knee tap. Yeah, Russian swings, plank, shoulder, knee, Russian twist. Thank you. Cole? All right, 
Let's get to it. 15 minutes. 